Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Okay, today I have two really cute and easy Halloween DIYs using everything from Dollar Tree. And the best part is it's stuff that they have year round. So you don't have to worry about not being able to find it because it is a white pillowcase and two, <laughs> two of these canvas bags from Dollar Tree. And it doesn't matter what they have on them, you're just wanting basically the back side. So I have two of these and then one pillowcase. Now, this is a satin pillowcase. I would prefer like a white cotton. So if you've got one like laying around the house or like Walmart probably has them really cheap, but I'm gonna try to use this one and we're gonna make something really cute out of these. Okay, so I just opened up the pillowcase and you can see this is shiny. So my thought is, I'm gonna turn mine inside out. And like I said, I wanted to use Dollar Tree items. This is all they had. So, yeah, by turning that inside out, you get rid of that satin sheen. And it has seams on this side, which I kinda like that. It has a little bit something to it. All right, so I am going to attempt a quick little iron on this really quick, just to try to get out all those seams from where it was folded. Okay, I just did kind of like a quick little iron over mine. <laughs> it's not perfect, but I got a lot of the wrinkles, but I got a lot of those seams out of it, so. Okay, so what we're gonna do for this is, I'm going to stuff this. Now, if you have polyfill at home, an old pillow at home, um, tissue paper, or a bunch of like Dollar Tree bags, um, just stuff this, and that's what I'm gonna do. I have a bunch of Dollar Tree and Walmart and stuff bags. I'm just gonna shove this down in here, so. Okay, <laughs> seriously, I'm using all these bags. All right, I'm just going to, so easy, I'm just gonna open this up and I'm gonna shove these bags down inside here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I've got this full now. Now I'm gonna take the top So for now, just to kind of hold this in place for me, I'm just gonna take a pipe cleaner. I'm gonna wrap it around this, around the top where I want it, and just give it a couple little twists, just to kind of hold it in place for me. Now, if you wanted, you could also put you like in the bottom, like a bag of rice or a bag of beans, just to kind of give it some weight. But we are now going to add a face on this. And <laughs> I didn't even say we're gonna make it into a ghost. So, okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this black felt from the Crafter Square section, um, and we're gonna make two eyes and then a mouth. You could also, if you wanted, use the, um, the vinyl from Dollar Tree. All right, so I'm just gonna cut out like my first eye here. I'm kind of making mine like ovals. So I got my first eye cut out. Now I'm just gonna use this eye to kind of like trace out my next one. That way they're pretty much the exact same size and shape. Okay. Okay, right. so now my first eye that I just cut out, I'm just gonna lay it on here and basically just kind of like use this as my template. Just kind of cut around this one. Okay, so now I have two eyes cut out. Now I want a mouth. So I'm just gonna kinda like do a bigger oval for the mouth. Okay, so you see I've got my two eyes and now my mouth. All right, so bring our pillow back up here. Okay, so now that I have this right here, I am now gonna see like where I wanna put my little eyes. <laughs> my little eyes and my mouth. Oh my gosh. Okay, y'all just wait until we're finished. This is gonna be so daggone cute. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna hot glue mine on. You could do, um, you could use double-sided tape if you want, but I'm just gonna do a little hot glue and I'm gonna put this on here. Okay, I'm just gonna put me some hot glue on the back of my felt. Put 
that right on there. Okay, so I got that one. And we'll put this one on here. Okay, and then <laughs> for my mouth. All right. Put a little hot glue on the back of this. And you don't need a lot of hot glue. Just put me a little, just kind of here and there. And then I'm gonna put my little mouth on here. <laughs> okay, so I have a bunch of different ribbons from Dollar Tree. So we're just gonna add like some ribbons, some bow to this, and just make this really cute. So, okay. Okay, I decided I'm gonna use a rubber band. And I'm just gonna take it around the top of this. Just kind of loop it around just a couple times. Now that's on there for me. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my ribbon. I'm gonna pinch me kind of a good little tail here. Just pinch it right there, leave that at the top. I'm now gonna take my ribbon, put it straight down. I'm gonna go up towards the back, and I'm gonna pinch it. All I did was just take that straight down, just looped it up, and I'm gonna give it a pinch. So I've got one loop right there, okay? This is now dangling down. I'm just gonna take that straight up into the air and I'm gonna see it straight up in the air. And I'm now gonna bend it forwards. That way I get the print facing forwards. Okay, and once again, I will pinch that all right there in the center. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that my loops are about the same size of each other, which they are. Okay, if not, you just kind of pull and adjust just a little bit. Okay, so while I have this pinched right here, I'm just gonna take like a chip clip or clothes pin and just kind of pinch that. And it's gonna hold that for me. I'll set it right there. I'm now gonna take this purple. I'm gonna pinch it. I'm gonna go straight down. I'm gonna come up, pinch it right there in the center. Take that up. Once again, pinch it right there in the center. Make sure these are about the same size of each other that I have this right here, I would now put it with this little bundle that we just made. Okay, I'm gonna kind of cross these just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this little spider web from Dollar Tree Ribbon and just kind of lay it right across the center. Okay, then I'm gonna cut that one. And then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna take another spider web just kind of lay it across the center, pinch it right there, and then I'm just gonna cut it off. Okay, now I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner, I'm gonna lay it right across the center of all of those ribbons. Okay, just like that. And I'm gonna fold it, and I'm gonna put everything together. So I got like this, and I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner Give it a couple good tight twists around that whole bundle. All right, so now all you have to do is just kind of fluff out your ribbons. Okay, so I'm gonna take this bundle right here, the pipe cleaners. I'm going to go around my um, rubber band here. I'm gonna take it around to the back. And then back here, I'm gonna give it some good tight twist. All right, let's adjust to kind of make sure everything looks cute. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna trim off the, um, all this excess. Okay, I'm gonna dovetail my ends. So I just fold this over in half. Just take the ribbon, just fold it right in half. Come over here where the open seam is and I'm gonna cut straight up at an angle. So I got that cut. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'll show you on this one. Okay, so I'm gonna take my ribbon. I'm gonna fold it in half. And on the side that is open, I'm gonna take my scissors. I'm gonna cut straight up at an angle. And it gives you that perfect dovetail. You can see that right there. That, I'm gonna do the same thing to this one real quick. Look 
cute that is. And seriously, it kind of looks like a bag of garbage. I ain't gonna lie. But look how cute it is. I'm, you could put this on your front porch. Seriously, if you did have like a white garbage bag and you just want to add a little something on your porch, do this. Obviously, you couldn't do hot glue on a garbage bag, but you could do, you know, this double-sided tape. No. But that is adorable. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take our two tote bags. I'm going to cut these straps off. I do not need these straps. So I'm gonna cut the bag down the seam because like I said, I don't want this back half. Okay, so for starters, so I got this. We are gonna make a candy corn pillow, yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a pencil and I'm just gonna trace me out basically a triangle you know, my candy corn shape, just with rounded edges. So I'm gonna use a pencil, just in case, and I'm gonna do it on the inside. Okay, so just kinda of start at the top. Just kinda of give me that, you know, rounded point. My goal is to come all the way down. Okay, so that, I'm gonna go once again. I'm gonna go all the way down. Okay. And then I'm going to, down here, make this a rounded edge. Go all the way over. Once again, do like a rounded, not pointed. Okay. <laughs> Here's what we got. I don't know if you can see that. I just lightly traced, just kind of lightly drew me a triangle on here. I may cut it a little bit wider than when I drew. So I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. And then I'm gonna trace it onto my next one, that way they line up perfect. So, okay. And of course, I can't find my good sharp scissors. So I'm using Riley's school scissors. But I'm just gonna cut out where I, I drew. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so there's my shape. All right, so I'm gonna take my second pillow, or my second bag. I'm gonna trace this on here. That way, this will line up perfect with each other. Okay. So I'm just gonna trace this onto here. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut out my shape onto this one. Okay. All right, so now I have my two. So now I have front and back cut out. Okay, so now that we have this cut out, we are now gonna paint this just like a candy corn. Um, I've got Harvest Orange Apple Barrel 50 cent paint from Walmart. I have this Folk Art in a lemon custard. And then I have just basic white Apple Barrel. And then I have some black just in case. But all right, so as a traditional candy corn, the top is white. So I'm gonna paint the top of my candy corn white and then some orange and then obviously some yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna paint the top of this white onto this canvas. All right, it's really wanting to absorb into the, the fabric. Okay, so we have the top painted white. Okay, so now the Harvest Orange. Okay, okay so now I'm just gonna paint um, the center orange. Y'all, I am so excited for this. I think this is gonna be really cute. And I'm painting on, this is just a foam board from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going back and forth, back and forth. You know, I'm not like trying to be perfect, but at the same time, I'm just trying to get good coverage. Okay, 
So now I'm gonna use my lemon custard yellow. Okay. Now I'm just gonna paint the bottom really quick. And you do have to kind of go thick because like I said, it wants to absorb into the material. Okay, so now I just have to let this kind of sit and dry and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, look how cute this already is. Now, take the back side of it I'm gonna lay this down, kind of get everything lined up here before I do any gluing. Y'all, <laughs> the craziest thing, I seriously feel like the paint made it shrink because these lined up at first. Now it's almost like it's a little too big. That is crazy, but you know what? I think I like it because it kind of gives like a, a little outline to it. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. I'm not gonna turn that up, I'm gonna go with it. So, okay, but I kind of want an even amount, which this is crazy, because this lined up at first. Okay, I am gonna use hot glue. You can use this double-sided tape if you want, and honestly, I thought about using this, but I think once I start shoving all my stuffing and stuff down in there, this could pop, so I'm not sure. And look, I want to show you. Where I painted on top of this foam board, it left this really cool painting so you seriously could cut that out and use this as like some decoration in your house. All I did, that is just me painting on top of this foam board. And I really love that it did that. So I may, I may cut this out and use that for something else. So, okay, but I'm just gonna start taking my hot glue gun. So I'm just going to, I think on the back, oh, that was hot. <laughs> so on the back of this, I'm just going to do a light line of hot glue. Okay, and I'm just going to push that down on there without burning yourself and just push that down into place. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly work my way around the bottom. And I'm avoiding getting really close to the edge. You kind of see that I'm just doing a light line of hot glue but I'm not on the edge. Okay. I'm just gonna lightly <laughs> tab that down into place. Now that it's cool, I can really press. Okay. So now I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna slowly work my way up to about halfway, about right here in the center of this orange. Okay. So I'm just gonna go lightly hot glue all the way down. And there's nothing steady about my hands or my glue line. I'm gonna take this. Okay. And I'm just pressing that down into the hot glue. All right. I'm gonna do the exact same thing over on this side. And my hot glue about halfway up into the orange. <laughs> Don't do what I do. <laughs> oh, okay, lightly hot glue all the way up, at least about you know halfway into that orange. Okay, throw that back over. Lightly tap it down at first. Kind of get me, get it in there. Okay, now I can press harder. Okay, actually, I don't need this much, so I am gonna glue up just a little bit more. Okay. Just a little hot glue right there, a little bit right there. I'm gonna just lay that down to dry. Okay, once again, stuffing. If you have polyfill, an old pillow at home, I, once again, am gonna use my Dollar Tree bags I'm just gonna shove them down in here because this is just gonna be a little cute decorative throw pillow. We're not gonna be laying on this. <laughs> All right, like I said, my Dollar Tree bag. Seriously, I'm just going to carefully 
shove it down in here. That way I don't bust my seams. Yeah. All right. So I am just pushing this down in here. And you could leave a little more of an opening. I guess maybe that is a little tight. But, you know, your judgment, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to start shoving these in here. You can kind of do it like long. Stick that in there. Shake it down in there. Just remember, you don't always have to run out and buy something. Use what you've got laid around your house. And I can take my paintbrush and help push it down into where I want it to go. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep shoving these in here really quick. And so I'm really pushing into my corners. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna go ahead on one side, I'm gonna go ahead and seal that up. Okay. Okay, just gonna put hot glue in the back. And just go ahead and lay that down together. So I got this side over here open. I can still kind of adjust and get in there. All right, I think this is looking good. I'm gonna attempt one more bag. I'm just shoving it through this little side hoe over here. Shoving it up towards the top. Just really trying to get this nice and full. Okay, now I'm gonna hot glue my last little side over here. Just a little line of hot glue. Okay. <laughs> Look how cute! Oh my gosh, we're not done. Okay, so I personally, I want to hot glue this onto the bottom of mine right here to divide the orange and the yellow just like when we made the little um triangle candy corns all right so yeah i'm gonna do that right there i'm just gonna do me a line of hot glue right in between the orange and the yellow okay once again just a little line of hot glue just between the orange and the yellow. Okay. I'm gonna lay this down. Just going right over from side to side. Okay, I'm gonna cut that off. All right, and then right here, I'm gonna add me a bow. Okay. Got my little tail right here. I got my loop. I'm just gonna loop it around like tying my shoes and just pull that through and then just kind of adjust my loops. And just kind of make me a, just a cute little bow. Okay, I'm gonna cut my ribbon. Oop. Cut my little tails. All right, yep, and I'm gonna hot glue me a bow right here in the corner. All right, I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the back of my bow. That way I have control of where I want this. That's cute. Okay, I'm just gonna put it right there. <gasps> okay, hold that down with my scissors. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. <laughs> and there's the back side. Look, the back is clean and neat. And I love this so much. Uh, like I said, a happy accident. Uh, like Bob Ross always says, happy accidents. I love how I have like that extra material coming over the side, just like the ver just the canvas bag. But 
I love this. You could easily paint your little jack lantern face on here. You could put you some black polka dots, some orange polka dots, or white polka dots. But I just think this is so cute just to sit on our couch or like on my little chair over here. But I love it. So this turned out adorable. And <laughs> our little ghost bag is so cute. Like I said, sit this on your front porch. Um, if you got a white daggone garbage, if you got, if you have a white garbage bag, you could easily do this. You know, this is just something so cute. Um, Dollar Tree supplies. This is a Dollar Tree pillowcase, you know, but it's cute. <laughs> but okay, I love these, especially this one. I gotta say, this is my favorite, and y'all know I love me some candy corn. So, I love it. Let me know which one is your favorite. And, and if you like this, give me a thumbs up. But I love them. <laughs> I cannot wait to put this on the couch. Okay, so that is it for this video. Several. So next week, y'all, the family has been on vacation this week. We've been camping and I've had a house full of people and our HVAC went out. <laughs> so we had to get a whole new unit, which is this right here. So we had the crew in the kitchen. So yeah, it's been one thing after another around here. But next week, um, I have a lot of fall DIYs planned fall crafts, fall tiered trays. So I'm hoping that everything goes back to normal next week and I can do video after video. So, but okay. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.